Hello and welcome to Peffer Mill for the Edinburgh City Sevens 2024. A weekend of sporting action featuring hockey, netball and of course rugby, which is our focus. While the ladies' elite final was won by hearts and balls for the second year running, meanwhile the men's competition featured seven invitational teams fighting it out through to the final, which was eventually contested between the Edinburgh City Sevens All-Stars and the team Rugby Against Cancer. It was an exciting and pulsating final. Let's enjoy the highlights now with commentator Dale Clancy. And Mason Cullen's going to break free from the tackles in the opening exchanges here at the Edinburgh City Sevens and the All-Stars get off to a lightning start. And it is one of their speedsters who's able just to break free from the shackles of the tackles from Rugby Against Cancer and wheel away underneath the uprights for the opening score. He'll glance over his shoulder to check that the danger is clear. And it provides a, an easy conversion attempt for Dwayne Patterson to give the All-Stars a lightning start here. Seven points to nil. They lead Rugby Against Cancer at the Edinburgh City Sevens. And it's going to be Dwayne Patterson to get play back underway. Sizing up his options and a right-footed kick downfield. Nice and short for his teammates to challenge. It's been flat back by Glenn Bryce, but then hacked through there by Curtis Barnes, which means that Chalmers has to sweep back and just outside of his own 22. Does well, supported by his teammates. And Southern finds Bryce, who just hops off his foot back in field. He's able to shrug away from the challenge, but the referee has awarded the penalty. And they went to the hands of the speedster out. Freddie Housley, who's directing traffic, gives it to Dom Coatser. He distributes to Bl Bryce, who's able to just kick his heels as well over towards the halfway line now. Coatser gets it away into the hands of Southern, and then Freddie Housley gives it in to Robbie Chalmers. He looks to try and go on the outside, and there's that channel has been well plugged there by Rugby Against Cancer, but Dwayne Patterson runs laterally across the field to try and find a space, and now into the hands of the open try scorer Cullen. Now to Bryce again, just working hard off of his wing. He's able to distribute the ball into the air, into the path of Dwayne Patterson, but it's got Scrappy on the floor. That's great defensive work off the ball from Rugby Against Cancer. And it is going to be their captain, John Serrell, to get play. Initially started here in the hands of one of the standout players, Finn Lloyd Gilmore as well, and then into the open channels. And James Pavey now has shown a great burst of pace. And even Freddie Owsley can't get back to catch him. And it's a brilliant reply there from Rugby Against Cancer. Just able to get the ball into a little bit of space. Still a little work to do for James Pavey. Just able to put that big fend out and get enough of a bit of daylight in between him and Freddie Owsley, who can certainly move himself, but no match for James Pavey on this occasion. And he's able to just go in for a reply score. And it's quick work there from Rugby Against Cancer, showing their danger all over their field. Little possession so far, and all of a sudden with a conversion attempt from their captain, John Serrell. It's all square here, seven points all. Serrell with a dummy, looks to try and dislodge the defence, but he's well protected there by his teammates. And into the hands now of Curtis Barnes again, who powers through and then offloads into the path of Austin Beckett. And he's just powering towards the line, pumping the legs. A little glance over the shoulder as well to see a, a slightly disconsolate Dwayne Patterson trying to get back and cover in defence. But again, good footwork, great power through the challenge. And in the support there from Austin Beckett. And powerful running style, charging his way towards the line. A little glance into the path of Dwayne Patterson who almost gave up the ghost. And it's the first time rugby against cancer are going to lead in this Edinburgh City Sevens final. Let's do that try there from Austin Beckett. Conversion attempt successful again from John Serrell. That's a seven point cushion now. Play back underway. It's, it was almost well gathered there by Patterson, but it's just been spilled into the path of the rugby against cancer team. Then all of a sudden, it's the afterburners coming on from Finn Lloyd Gilmore. And it's another try in this tournament for him. He's been one of the standout players, electric footwork. But great work there in midfield just to congest that Edinburgh City's All-Stars team into the one area. But this footwork was impeccable from the Rugby Against Cancer number eight. And able to just leave Ryan Southern in his wake as he marched his way towards the line. And get another try for Rugby Against Cancer. And it's another conversion as well for their captain, John Serrell. 21 points to seven, they now lead. Glenn Bryce with the free kick gets played back underway and mixes up with Dom Coatser 
a bounce off his right foot into some turgid defence from the rugby against cancer side. All Stars face a, an uphill battle to get back into this game. They opened scoring here, but finding it really difficult to find some holes in this defence. Glenn Bryce looking to try and puncture through. He's able to evade a couple of challenges, but again, the rugby against cancer team get back and recycle well, regroup. Southern now has an opportunity to try and get through this defensive resistance that's in front of this All-Stars team. Bryce, Chalmers, going against the grain. He's almost able just to weave his way out of trouble. Well supported there by Southern, away from Bryce, who's just dictating traffic, and then on to Mason Cullen. The ball bounces up brilliantly for him, and then he's hacked down by James Pavey. Rather high there as well. Went rather high there on the challenge when he was covering back James Pavey. He's been yellow carded. But the offload, Ryan Southern was certainly in for a try. So the All-Stars will have to capitalise on this man advantage. Patterson gives it to Chalmers. Chalmers gets the ball through the hands into Bryce in space. And he dots the ball down. And they capitalise immediately on the man advantage. Patterson just tapping the penalty, giving it to Chalmers. He had a couple of options there. And he opted to use Bryce, the right one, in space. And the experienced playmaker is able to narrow the margins here. Patterson with a tricky conversion attempt on the left-hand side. And he's able just to curve that round over the uprights. And that could be an important kick as we come into half-time here. And it is rugby against cancer who hold the advantage over the Edinburgh City Sevens All-Stars. It's a half-time score of 21 points to 14. Second half to get underway. The captain, again, trying to put it on the money for his teammates. But Bryce tries to gather. It's juggled slightly. And one of the replacements, Ross McKnight, looks to try and get through his gears. Offloads back inside to Bryce. Good support from the experienced number six from the All-Stars. Coatser to Patterson. Patterson then finds Chalmers centre field. And... He's just tiptoeing and dancing his way over the 10 metre line. Has to retreat somewhat, but he's made good ground on the second attempt. Able to evade the challenge and then offloads to Bryce, who links up well with McKnight. He's been hacked down by this defence. Not an easy feat to try and bring down big Ross McKnight, but they've done well. Now to Patterson, who's got some players in some space. One of them is Kyle McGee, another replacement to find Freddie Owsley. Looks to go round the outside, but is able to... Just check his personal space and see that he's still in field. Offloads to Patterson and Kyle McGee is able just to tiptoe his way round trouble and dive it in the corner. And it's a great start to the second half for the All-Stars. Great work there from Patterson. Just to dislodge the defence enough and the covering tackle there that came in from Austin Beckett is not enough to bring Kyle McGee to ground. And the All-Stars get their third try of the game. Rugby against Cancer now over the 10 metre line. It's been hacked through. It's a ball to chase here, but Coatser gets back well to cover because James Pavey was there waiting. Serrell gets the ball into the line. It's been flapped back, but fumbled by the All-Stars. Patterson trying to gather the ball. is not able to gather it cleanly. Now getting through the hands of Derek and, and the playmaker Lloyd Gilmore, who's player the, the All-Stars will be looking to try and keep under wraps. He wins the penalty, then goes quickly. Eats up the ground pretty quickly as well over the 22 metre line. Takes play closer towards that try line. A penalty conceded again and rugby against the cancer go quickly through Finch. Now into Serrell who's distributed across the field to Derek who just dances back in field and he's got enough pace and enough power to go underneath the uprights here. And that could be an important try and an important position as well. For rugby against cancer they score right underneath the shadows of the posts. And they now take a seven point advantage here. Great powerful run in from Tom Derrick, which means this conversion attempt is gonna be incredibly important and it's successful yet again from John Serrell. An immaculate kicking display from the captain. Looks to go short from the restart, gather his own ball. He's not able to gather it cleanly at the first attempt. Could be a put into the scrum here for the All-Stars. Patterson loiters by the tunnel, rolls the ball in. He's able to scoop it into the hands of Cunningham. And then Mason Cullen, a couple of chances in this game. He's taken one of them, unlucky to score with his second. Takes play over for the halfway line. Southern. He's able to find Charlie Jupp. Then Ross McKnight, the big Sterling Wolf winger, charges down the touchline and offloads back inside to his club teammate, Glenn Bryce. 
and then Jupp the Heriot back row is able to just bring it forward and tenacious powerful direct running from the All-Stars number one Southern now to Cunningham and Patterson knowing that the All-Stars have to score quickly if they're going to lift the trophy here able to find Mason Cullen loitering on the wing back in field he's been well wrapped up as Patterson looks to take the penalty quickly into the 22 now Southern powerful centre at 15 he's able to just charge through the first couple of challenges hacked down inches short of the line but Cunningham trying to scoop the ball up has just knocked the ball on and that was a golden chance there for the All-Stars and now rugby against cancer having to try and defend from deep hack the ball downfield it's almost been scooped up there by Lloyd Gilmore who's able to get it at the second attempt we'll be looking for some teammates here as the ball goes loose yet again and it's been hacked out and that is going to be the final play here and it is going to be the Rugby Against Cancer side who are victorious over Edinburgh City Sevens All-Stars. 28 points to 19 in a very entertaining final here at the Edinburgh City Sevens. John, congratulations. You are Edinburgh City Sevens champions. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it's been a tough, tough couple of days. Um, the sun's been here. Not, hasn't been here. A bit of rain here and there, but that's classic Scottish weather. Um, but yeah, really good. Really proud. Tell me about... Rugby Against Cancer then, what, who are the team made up of? Uh, so Rugby Against Cancer is a charity which helps families with, like, affected with cancer, um, with that's like just support, we've got, they've got a holiday home in um, Portsmouth, down south, um, so it's just helping families like that and so the team we just pull together, loads of mates um, representing you know more than like rugby itself, uh, raising awareness for the uh, charity and at these huge events like this, we also won Bournemouth a few weeks ago, so yeah it's brilliant for the charity. So it's, it's really been good for you to be invited to the Edinburgh City Sevens? Yes, it's brilliant. Uh, prestigious tournament like this, we've been going for like how many years? Um, and so yeah, so getting the call up to this was brilliant uh, and winning it in our first shot is uh, actually awesome as well. Now one in two people are affected by cancer, that's an incredible statistic. So it's a great thing that the team are doing to, to raise awareness. What do you hope to achieve through Rugby Against Cancer? Uh, yeah, so yeah, like you said, that stat, um, you know, one in two affected by cancer. So it's just helping families in the rugby community, um, giving them emotional support, you know, wherever they need it, and that's what this great charity does. Um, so like on that, like I'm affected by cancer, I know many of the boys in the team are as well, uh, so it's excellent um, that this charity can do that as well. Do you think you'll be back next year to defend it? Uh, 100%, yeah. So next year's a big year for us, we'll go Bournemouth back to back to back, uh, and then hopefully we'll come up here and defend our title as well. Congratulations, well done to Rugby Against Cancer, a very great uh, charity and nice to see you here at the Edinburgh City Sevens. So, yeah, uh, and also so check us out on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, LinkedIn uh, and donate if you can or just like, follow, you know, awesome. So thank you. Thank you, John. Mason, twice a runner-up then in the Edinburgh City Sevens. You were runner-up last year with uh, the Rambling Jesters, this year with the Edinburgh City Sevens All-Stars. Yeah, I know. It's tough to take this year as well because we, I really thought we had a good chance of winning it, but uh, it looks like I'm going to have to do another year of this, so <laughs> I don't know. Tell me about the, the City Sevens All-Stars, who are they made up of? Yeah, it's mostly uh, Super 6 boys, uh, you've got two Penn boys in, you've got Dwayne Patterson who's from the board as well, he played really well today, uh, and Robbie Chalmers as well, but yeah, it's mostly Super 6 boys, so um, we've had an eight-week season in, so this is um, just a good way to finish it off, so I'll get a good break after this. What about the Super Sixes? Obviously it is no more, it has been disbanded by the SRU, what do you feel about that? I personally quite like Super Six, I thought it was a, a good bridge between the pro and the amateur game, but um, it is what it is, hopefully um, the Prem will step up and uh, that's what they need to do because obviously these boys have been in pretty much a pro set up for five years now, so um, I think there is going to be a bit of a gap, but hopefully the Prem boys can step up and it will be, be a good time. I suppose your consolation, as you said, was you got to score the first try in the final. Yeah, no, good feeling. Um, like we said, we've got rolling subs, so I just thought I'll, I'll give it all my go for seven minutes and uh, I'll go over there, so yeah, it's good. What about uh, your season next year then? What are your plans for next year? Oh, I'm still to confirm. Uh, I've, got a hol I've got a flight in 12 hours, so um, after the holiday I'll make my decision. But yeah, there's still a few options, but I'm, I'm just not too sure at the minute. Oh, come on, you can tell yeah. us. We'll not tell anybody. No, I've got nothing, I've got nothing, I swear to God. <laughs> Is it going to be a Borders club? It could be. I've, I've been in talks with a couple, but I just need to see what's best for me. So, but yeah. But definitely playing next year. Definitely playing in Scotland next year. Yeah, hundred percent. So there we are then. A great way to end the Edinburgh City Sevens for 2024. A pulsating and fantastic final between two great teams. But we have a new name on the trophy this year: the charity Rugby Against Cancer. Well done to them. 
Thank you for viewing. I hope you've enjoyed it with us. And from me and all the team here at Pepperville, it's goodbye.